So I want to thank you for joining me for the jQuery workshop today. Um, what we'll be doing is we'll be manipulating an image using jQuery um, and we're going to make a little puppy do the moonwalk. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about, I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, but if you have any questions as we're going along, uh, please feel free to unmute yourself. I cannot see the chat once I share my screen. So um, just feel free, interrupt me, just ask your question. I am happy to answer it. All right, so what we have so far is I've pre-written some code here. We have a little GIF here of a little dog moving. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide the puppy, show the puppy, and then make the puppy do a moonwalk. Um, and we're gonna be doing that by using jQuery. So let's take a look at the code that is written that has created this and how what we need to add in order to make these things happen. All right, so here is the code base for what we were just looking at at the browser here. So let's just take a little minute to look at what we got. So we have our HTML document and we have our regular document structure that we see on all HTML files. We have our title, we have our link, and this allows us to link our HTML with our CSS. So that's how we got that background color and those buttons to look the way that they did and the alignment. Um, then we have our script tags and here we have two script tags. So this script tag is absolutely important if you need to use jQuery. This imports the entire jQuery library, so it is absolutely necessary to put this in your code in order for you to use jQuery. Then on the bottom here, we have um, the our custom script, jQuery JS, which is right here. So uh, we'll go ahead and write our code in this file. Then uh, what we have is we have the image, um, the image of the puppy that's doing the little dance, and then we have some buttons here, okay? So what we will need to do is we need to add something to these buttons so once they are clicked, it's going to add the functionality that the button says. So if we go back here, if I click this, I want this button to make this puppy disappear. If I click this, I want the puppy to appear. And if I click this, I want to make the puppy do a moonwalk. Um, and we're gonna use the animate function in order to do this last one. All right, so are there any questions so far on the code base? Something you're not familiar with or you have a question because I wanna make sure you understand this before we add jQuery to it. Quick question. Um, does loading jQuery need to happen in the script before your, your own script? Yes, yes. So it, you need to put this before your own script so it can load prior. So since this is dependent on this library, you, may, you need to make sure that it's loaded first. Okay. Uh, any other questions? All right, so let's go ahead and do it. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our jQuery file here and I'm just gonna split the text editor so I can see both of them at the same time. Okay, so in our jQuery, let's take a look at what we've got here. So right here, what we're saying so far is once the document is ready, and that means once the document has fully loaded, the page is fully loaded, I'm going to perform a function, okay? Now, in this function, that's where I'm gonna add the ability to add some functionality to these buttons. But in order to add functionality to these buttons, I need a way of grabbing the button. So there's a couple ways that you can grab a button and it kind of works like CSS. So in CSS, normally we can grab an element by the element name, we can create an ID for it, or we can create a class for it. So if I were to grab the element by the element name button, whatever functionality I add to that is gonna be the same functionality for all buttons. But that's not what I want to do. Each, each of these buttons have a different task that I want to perform. So I'm gonna separate these by having different IDs for each of these buttons. So I'm gonna go back to my HTML and I'm going to add an ID to each button. And I'll just give this one the ID hide. Oops. 
give this one the ID of show. And then I'm going to give this one the ID of moonwalk. Okay, so now we have a way of grabbing these buttons individually. So with jQuery, we use the dollar sign with the parentheses, and that's how we grab what we're targeting here. So we're gonna put quotations. And now if I were to write button here, that means I'm grabbing all of the HTML elements that are type button. That's not what we're doing, we're grabbing the ID. So let's handle the first one where we're just hiding the puppy. And it works just like CSS as far as syntax is concerned. You put the hashtag for ID and then followed by the ID name, so hide, okay? So here we are grabbing the element that has the ID hide. And we are gonna add a event to it, click, oops. So this is saying, once this is clicked, whatever we put in between these parentheses is what we want to happen to the element that has the ID hide, okay? So once this is clicked, I'm gonna put a function in here, and I am going to grab what I want to actually have hidden. So in this case, that's that image right here. I've give, already given this image the ID puppy, so I can just grab it by the ID. And I can use the dot hide function. Okay, so what we have so far here is once the document is fully loaded, we are going to be able to grab the element with the ID hide, which is this button right here. And we've added an event to it, click. So once this button is clicked, the element with the ID puppy, this element right here, is going to be hidden. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out, make sure it works. Now the puppy is gone, so that has worked successfully. All right, so now let's add some functionality to the show. Oops, I got a semicolon there and to the moonwalk, okay? So the function to show something is dot show. So could someone tell me what I need to write in order to have that show button make the puppy appear? What do we start off with? You want to do it like the last one, right? Dollar yep. sign. Mm -hmm. So we start off with the dollar sign, and what are we putting inside of those parentheses? Quote, hashtag, show. Perfect. And then what? Dot click. Mm -hmm. Function. Dollar sign puppy dot show yeah, hashtag puppy dot show perfect yep so that's exactly it that's all we need to do um so if we refresh here we hide the puppy we show the puppy he appears now we're going to make the puppy do a moonwalk and this is using the animate um function in jquery which is not talked about in the curriculum but i figured i'd put in something extra in there so you guys uh can do some fun things. Uh, the jQuery is really cool. You can do all sorts of things, manipulate CSS. Uh, the main part of jQuery is just making sure you've got the right elements um, and make sure you're grabbing it in the proper way. So I'm grabbing these IDs, so I need to make sure that that element has the ID. So if I do the animate, I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did for hide and show. I'm gonna grab my button first, and this button has the ID moonwalk. So I'm going to put the quotations with the hashtag moonwalk and then I'm going to add the click event. We're going to have a function in there and what that function is going to do, it's going to grab the element with the ID puppy and it is going to animate, dot animate. 
And what you put in animate is essentially a property um, that you want to add to that particular element. So it's technically CSS, but it does it, it, it looks like an animation. So I'm going to put these curly brackets because we are bringing in a property. So we are going to say left. And we're going to do 250 pixels. Okay, so I am going to save that. And if I refresh here, we got a moonwalking puppy there. So that is how we can use jQuery. Now, all of this can be changed around depending on what events you want to do. Um, if you do a hover, you could do a hover. Um, but then we would just change this around to grab the, the puppy image um, and then just do an animate on that. Or maybe you want to do a mouse up function. Um, and that's just when you hit the up arrow on the keyboard. Um, so there's different events that you can do. Most common one you're probably going to do is click or hover. Um, and you can add different functions to that to add whatever properties you need to to it or to hide or show the element. Um, a really great resource for the different events that you can use using jQuery is the jQuery uh, documentation. Also, W3Schools has a really cool um, list there that you can interact with and play around with as well. Um, so are there any questions on what we did here with the hide, the show, the animate, how we wrote things, anything on the HTML side, maybe you saw something in the CSS you were curious about, any questions at all? All right, well, if there are no questions, then I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I do want to thank you for joining in today. If you have any feedback or if there's something particular you would love to see in a workshop, please let me know. I'm very open and I would love to hear from my students. Um, so again, thank you so much. This is recorded and it will be posted by the end of the day. And I hope you have a really good one. Thanks. Thanks. Have a good one.